morning and welcome to the thought once again. I'd like to read you a verse this morning from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 14. And it simply says this, For the love of Christ constraineth us. For the love of Christ constraineth us. And the title this morning is this, Have you let God's love control you? Have you let God's love rule in your heart this morning? Have you ever thought of how much yeah, you owe the Lord? And then once you've thought about it, have you ever sat down and considered how much you have given to the Lord? Has he done anything for you? Has he done anything for you who are listening to me this morning? Has he forgiven your sins? Has he cleansed you with his precious blood? Has he covered you in the robe of righteousness? Has he set your feet upon a rock? Has he established your goings? Has he prepared a place for you in heaven? And has he prepared you for heaven? Has, the, uh, has he written your name in the Lamb's Book of Life? Has he not blessed you with all spiritual blessings? Has he not promised you eternity, where I hath not seen nor you heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him? Then shouldn't we be living in a way that is worthy of that love? Worthy of that great love? Remember that we must confess him before men if we want him to confess us before God. Oh, our love must not just be seen, but it must be a deed that is done. How would it feel, friend, when Jesus comes and you have to confess to him that you have done nothing for him? When, where is your love for him? Let your light so shine before men that great glory and honour will be given to Christ. You see, true love will sacrifice the love of a mother for a child, the love of a husband for a wife, but far greater should be the love of a sinner for his Saviour. Consider the love of Jesus for you this day, and it will fill your heart with gratitude, fill your eyes with tears, experience the power of that love to drive out all the worldly, worldly desires and thoughts and habits. This love of God will enable you to go through the furnace. It will allow you to go to the lion's dens and stand pure and clean before the Holy God. All because of the love of God. I must quote you the words of the hymn writer who says this, Boundless is the universe around me, reaching to the furthest soul away. Save and keep in love it was that found me. That is why my heart can truly say. And then the third verse of the hymn says this, Love beyond all human comprehension. Love of Christ in God, how can it be? This will be my theme and never-ending, great redeeming love of Calvary. Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful. Wonderful. Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful is love to me. Wonderful is love to you. Oh, the love of Jesus. Let it control you. Let it control you. For he alone deserves our praise, and our glory, and our thanks for all that he has done. God bless each one. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.